Hi, my name's Charity. I'm an account representative here at Craft Production Systems, and I'm going to be your guide as we talk about our passive dehydration system, also known as the PDS. This is Croft's preferred alternative to the glycol unit for natural gas dehydration. Dehydration is a critical process required to meet pipeline specifications. Making sure your gas is properly dehydrated can help prevent pipeline shut-ins, corrosions, hydrate formations, and slugs. RPDS is a very simple yet very effective unit for drying gas. Now let me walk you through how RPDS works. Vessels are filled with our environmentally friendly desiccant and dry. Wet gas enters the inlet near the bottom of the vessel as gas flows upward through the vessel into our EnviroDry desiccant, which is dried via adsorption. When the EnviroDry adsorbs the water, it deliquesces and collects at the bottom of the vessel. This non-hazardous brine solution does not require any special disposal, therefore it can be drained to the water tanks on location. The dry gas then flows through the outlet into the cell's pipeline or wherever needed. You might be wondering, what are the benefits of using the PDS system over the common glycol unit? Unlike the PDS, the glycol unit contains multiple moving parts, burners, and pumps. And of course, there are the emissions such as methane, BTEX, and CO2 that can be hazardous to personnel and require environmental permits. The EPA states that solid desiccant dehydrators reduce emissions by 99% over the common glycol unit, meaning that the PDS can be installed without requiring air permits. In glycol operations, gas is utilized for the burner fuel and heating up the system, common pneumatic controllers, and through the energy exchange pumps. It takes gas to run the glycol system. The PDS consumes no gas for operations, meaning increased sales and increased revenue. Now, let's take a look at the process of servicing the PDS unit. When you lease or buy Crofts PDS units, we make sure to provide you with all the service needed all the time. If your leased unit is in our service area, one of our highly trained service technicians will make sure to conduct preventive maintenance to ensure proper function and efficiency of the unit. The service techs will isolate the vessel they'll be working on, depressurizing the vessel following protocol. Once depressurized, they will open the enclosure and inspect the EnviroDry inside, observing levels and quality of the desiccant. Once the EnviroDry has been inspected, the techs will top off the EnviroDry to the appropriate levels. The vessel will be repressurized and put back into operations. The techs will then take a measurement to ensure outlet specifications are met. If there are any issues with the unit, the service techs will make sure to address them as quickly as possible and notify the client of any problems and recommend solutions. Some of these upstream potential issues include detergent oils from compressors and liquid slugs. Both issues can be easily fixed by using non-detergent oil on the compressor and placing a filter or separator in front of the PDS. Now that we've discussed servicing the units, let's talk about capacities. We offer multiple different unit sizes to handle a wide range of capacities. We have our supply gas dehydrators, single vessels that can handle flows up to 500 MCF a day, and multi-vessel units to handle larger well designs, and our largest unit that can be placed into series for multiple applications processing over 100 million a day. With the unit's modular design and excellent turndown rate, Croft tailors each unit to the client's specific application, increasing or decreasing the vessels to fit the life of the well. So now that you know the benefits of the PDS, let's take a look at a few examples of applications from our clients. As seen here in this picture, a PDS unit is replacing an existing oversized glycol unit. PDS units can be placed on the NGL lines, removing water out of the liquid stream. This client had a four month air permit delay, but was able to quickly and easily install our PDS within four days. PDS units can be trailer mounted for mobilized units on temporary location or projects. PDS units can be placed on barges or small location restrictions since there are no burners. PDS units can be placed at gas gathering facilities. Really, PDS units can be placed anywhere, including wildlife reserves, since there are no operating emissions and no burning parts. Thanks for checking out our video. If you have an application you're working on, or any questions in general, please feel free to contact us at any time. We look forward to working with you soon.